Google search is a powerful tool in driving traffic to your online store because it means that people are actively searching for your products or the services that you provide. So being able to rank high in the search engines is super important. But to be completely honest, if you're not on page one at the top of page one, then you're probably not actually gonna get seen because people don't really scroll down Google search results. They'll go to the first few options that are available. Okay, so I guess your next question would be, how do you rank higher in the search results? And don't worry, it's not as hard as it seems. I'm gonna actually show you in this video how to optimize your store, which is really the first step in getting your site listed higher in the search engine results. So first off, a main key area that you need to optimize is your meta description. It's also listed as your search engine listing in a lot of key areas of your Shopify store. So this can be found for a lot of different areas like your collection page, product page, your pages on your site, as well as your blog posts. If you scroll down to any of these areas, you'll find at the bottom of that page, a search engine listing area. And here you can change out your title, your description, and your URL handle. All of these areas are important to optimize with your correct keywords so that Google can instantly find this and deliver it in relevant search results. You can also go in and customize your information for your homepage, like your title and description, as well as a social sharing image that you can upload as well. Those are found under your online store and preferences area. So you can go into each of these key areas of your site and start optimizing this. But what do you say and what keywords should you even put in? Well, first off, it's really important to know the correct keywords and to find the right ones for your individual products and for your store overall. I always recommend using the Google Keyword Planner tool and helping me find ideas and also just researching the volume of traffic that can be expected for certain keywords. You can also see how much competition there is for keywords as well, if people are using this to buy Google ads with. But this is helpful to understand just the traffic overall and which keywords you should choose. So an important thing to think about with keywords is that you really wanna think about how your customer is describing this. What kind of product are they looking for? What kind of problem do they have that they're going to Google and typing in to try and find that solution? You really wanna get in their head a little bit and think of exactly how they would describe that in terms of how they're typing it into the search engine because that could be something that you can be including in your keyword or in your listing description as well. With keywords, I always try to go for a more long tail keyword. So an example I like to give for this is if you were selling boots on your store. If you just had your keyword as boots, well, that is not a good keyword. That's super broad and no one's just gonna go to Google and type in boots. Like that would have so many results and it wouldn't be helpful for them to quickly find what they're looking for. Also, if they were to type in women's boots, that's also pretty broad and not very helpful. So then think about black women's boots. Okay, we're getting a little bit better, but it's still super broad. Then think of a long tail keyword that still describes your product, like women's black leather knee high boots. That's something that someone would actually be searching for. It's very specific and it tells exactly what the product is. So I know when I type that in to the search results, that's what I'm gonna be getting. I'm not gonna get random other products as well. I'm going to get something that's very aligned with what I'm typing in. That's a long tail keyword. And it's really helpful to get very specific with your keywords so that you're telling Google exactly what this product is so that it can show that more relevantly in the search results. I recommend having a list of one to three keywords like that for each of your individual products that you're trying to optimize. So that way you have a couple different ways to talk about your product, both in the search engine description as well as in your product description as well. For your store overall, you'll wanna think of different keywords that talks about all of the collections on your store. Individual collections can also be optimized with their own keywords as well as your about page, all of your other pages of your site and your individual blog posts. So it's gonna take some time to do some research for this. Again, I love using the Google Keyword Planner tool. It helps me by typing in a keyword that I'm thinking of and then coming up with other ideas as well as seeing how much traffic I can expect for each individual keyword. It can be really helpful to keep this organized in something like a spreadsheet or a Google Doc just to keep everything in one place and know exactly what your keywords are for each individual product and area of your site. 
Okay, so now that we've got our keyword, let me show you the example still of how to actually optimize a product with this keyword. So whenever we go into a product and scroll to the bottom to the search engine listing area, we can see that we have the title, description, and URL handle to go in and optimize. For the title, I recommend putting your keyword that you've decided on at the front of the title, so that way you can make sure it gets seen first and it's the most important factor there. You also wanna keep it short and sweet. About 70 characters is the key amount for that. So for ours could be women's black leather knee high boots with zipper on side or something like that that quickly explains exactly what your product is in just the title. For the description, they say you have 320 characters, but I like to keep it at 160 or less so that I can make sure that it doesn't get cut off in different search engine listing areas. Again, you wanna add in your keyword here, but don't just keyword stuff and add multiple different varieties of it. You wanna make sure that it's actually readable because it's not just the robots that are going to be reading this and delivering it to potential customers, but real humans are going to be reading this as well and deciding if this is actually the type of product that they'd be interested in and if they want to click and go to your site to look at the product and learn a little bit more. So don't just throw a bunch of keywords in, make sure that it's properly explaining what your product is, has the keyword in there, and it's just a really easy readable sentence as well. So for our example, we could have something like shop stylish black knee high women's boots in a variety of sizes, super comfortable women's leather knee high boots with a zipper for a great fit all day long. Again, you don't wanna be repetitive with your keywords and just have exactly the same keywords as your title as well. You can change things up a little bit in terms of the placement or the way that you use your keywords just to keep it interesting while still making sure that you've got your keywords added in. For your URL handle, you want to again use your keywords here, but don't use the full keyword potentially. Actually try and keep it a little bit shorter so that it's easier to read and focusing on a couple different keywords that are still properly explaining your product, uh, but not having it be this crazy long URL. The goal here is to keep it short and sweet with the URL handle. So now that you've got your product page optimized, another key area that you want to optimize with your keywords is your actual images on your site. So your product images as well as other images on your site. So whenever you're naming your photo before uploading it into Shopify, I recommend adding in your keywords to the file name as well. So having your brand name in there, your keywords in there, as well as any specific product name too. It can be really helpful to get pulled up in Google shopping feeds and image searches whenever you have your keyword in your actual file name. You can also add in an alt name to your file once you upload that into Shopify. So you can just upload that into your product images area and then click on it to add an alt name as well. Again, you wanna add in your brand name, your product name, and those keywords that you've identified for your product. And do that for each of the images that you're uploading to your product. You also wanna do this for any images that you're having on your store, whether it's a slideshow banner on your homepage. Don't just name it slideshow. Actually name it what your brand name is and the proper description for that photo. Same with your about page image and a blog post image as well. Anytime that you're uploading an image to your Shopify store, make sure that you're going in and actually just taking the additional time there to name the file name correctly. And you can go in, once you've added that image into the Shopify editor, you can go in and add an alt name in here as well. This is really helpful for just readability on your site for anyone that's using a screen reader whenever they're looking at your store, but also it really does help getting just listed more in the search results, Google image searching, and the Google shopping feed as well. I get it, this is gonna take some time to do. I'm not at all trying to say that you can get all this done super quick. So maybe make a goal of setting up a couple products per day that you're going through, doing the research for the keyword and optimizing on your store. There's such an opportunity here because so many store owners just aren't gonna do this. It takes time and effort to do it and that's where the opportunity lies. Now, it's not gonna be a short-term game. It's a long-term game here, but you are gonna be able to see your search results increase over time by just going in and optimizing your site correctly from the very beginning. 
If you're interested in learning more about how to set up your Shopify store from the beginning and setting it up correctly, check out our Ecom in a Weekend online course where we go step by step through every single area of setting up your Shopify store from your products, collections, pages on your site, designing the site, setting up your shipping and your taxes, everything you need to know about setting up your Shopify store we've got covered in the course. Also, another key piece to making sure that your store performs well is making sure that it loads quickly and that when people come to your site, whether on desktop or laptop or on mobile devices, that your site loads quickly and they're able to quickly scan your site and go to the products that they're interested in. To optimize your store, you need to do a couple other areas to make sure that your site loads quickly. And I've got a whole other video tutorial all about that over here. So make sure to check out that video next.